Let me tell you a story that's been hiding in plain sight. Imagine this. Over 2,800 years ago, someone in India cracked a code that still baffles mathematicians today. That code? Pi. You know, 3.1416. The number we use to build bridges, design engines, even launch rockets. But here's the thing. While your math teacher probably told you the Greeks invented Pi, ancient Indians had already calculated it with jaw-dropping accuracy. How? They wrote it down in a text called the Baudayana Sulba Sutra. Think of it like a manual for building perfect fire altars. These weren't just rituals, they were math blueprints. The priests needed exact shapes to please the gods, so they figured out pi to four decimal places. Let that sink in, 800 BCE, no calculators, no computers. Just pure genius, but wait, there's more. These same texts also describe something called the Pythagorean theorem. Yep, the one you learned in school. Except Indians were using it 1,000 years before Pythagoras was even born. So why don't we talk about this, Tora? Why does history keep crediting the Greeks? Here's where it gets spicy. Ancient Indian math didn't stay in India. Traders, scholars, maybe even spies carried this knowledge along silk roads and oceans. The Greeks and Egyptians? They were obsessed with geometry. Coincidence? Or did they borrow India's secrets? Let me drop a name. Aryabhata. Around 500 CE, this Indian mathematician calculated pi as 3.1416, almost matching today's value. He also wrote about orbits, eclipses, and the Earth spinning on its axis to his work spread to Baghdad, then Europe. But his name? Forgotten. Now picture this. Temples across India built with fractal patterns, repeating shapes that mirror galaxies. These weren't just art, they were sacred equations. Priests used geometry to connect humans to the cosmos. But why? Were they hiding something bigger? Here's the kicker modern researchers found Greek texts mentioning Eastern masters. Even Herodotus, the Greek historian, hinted that Egypt learned math from wise men of the East. Could those wise men be Indians? Did history erase their fingerprints so next time you see a circle? Remember, India's genius is written in every curve, sir. But here's my question to you. Why do we keep missing this part of the story? If this made you rethink history, hit like, share it with someone who loves a good mystery. And tap that subscribe button. We're just getting started. This is Universal Insight. Stay curious.